Let's get started with video six, solving two-step equations. So here's where it gets even more fun. We are gonna solve equations that maybe take more than one step in order to get the variable by itself. So just like we did in one-step equations, we have the same goal. We're still trying to isolate the variable. We're still using inverse operations to cancel things out. That's our tool. And we still have to keep things balanced. Whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. So everything we learned with one-step equations, still true. And we're still showing our work like we have been. So everything like drawing the line down the equal sign and crossing things out, working down, all of that is still the same. I think I mentioned with one-step equations that when you're solving now, since we're working backwards and canceling things out, we are going to use SATMAP, which is a completely made up word. It's not an actual thing. It is simply the letters of PEMDAS backwards. So PEMDAS was our order of operations. When we're evaluating and working something out, we follow PEMDAS. But when we're canceling things out, working backwards and trying to solve for a variable, we do that in the reverse order. <clears throat> so the important thing to get from that is that we cancel adding and subtracting first. Any addition or subtraction needs to be canceled out first, then cancel any multiplying and dividing. So multiplication and division are after we cancel any adding and subtracting. So let's do a few together. I'm going to still highlight my variable. This is what I'm trying to get by itself. So we can see that I'm trying to cancel out an 11 and a 3. Well, if I follow SADMAP, I cancel all adding and subtracting first. That means this 11. So to cancel out plus 11, I'm still going to use the inverse operation. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. This cancels out and one step at a time, bring down what's left. Well, negative 4 and negative 11 put together make negative 15. I'm still trying to get this x by itself, so now I'm ready to cancel out any multiplication or division. This is 3 times x, so to cancel out multiplying by 3, I'm going to divide by 3. Those 3's cancel out, and now I have x by itself, and I get negative 5. In my practice and on a test or a quiz, I would make sure I take that 5 and plug it back in here. 3 times negative 5 plus 11, and yes, I get negative 4. So I might not always do it in every problem in the video, but you should always be taking your answer that you got, putting it back into the original problem, and making sure it's true, making sure it works. All right, let's do another one. 5 plus x over 4 equals 2 minus 10. Well, on this side, I can just simplify this. What is 2 minus 10? I can also, if you remember your rules from chapter 1, this is 2 plus negative 10. Right? If I think of this as negative 10, 2 and negative 10 makes negative 8. So I'm just going to rewrite it so it's a little bit simplified. I got negative 8 there. And 5 plus x over 4. Well, cancel out adding and subtracting first. That means get rid of the 5. A positive 5, I would cancel it out with minus 5. So bring down what you have. Uh, the 5's cancel over here. Negative 8 minus 5, or negative 8 plus negative 5, is negative 13. And to get x by itself, I have to multiply by 4 to cancel out dividing by 4. So times 4, and x is equal to, and if I don't know, 13 times 4, come over here and do it. 12, 1, 4, 5, negative 52. Okay? Always double check by taking that answer and plugging it back in here and making sure you get what you're supposed to. All right, I'll do a couple more. Line down the equal sign. 
If it helps, let's highlight your variable. That's what we're trying to get by itself. So you can see I've got to cancel out the 6 and the 11. Well, start with the thing that's being added or subtracted. So the 11, right? The 6 is being multiplied. I got to save that till the end, right? We set up here, that's the last step. So how do I get rid of 11? Well, it's positive 11, so let's subtract 11 from both sides. Cross out what cancels, bring everything down. Now, a lot of people make the mistake here of forgetting that negative. It's still attached to the negative 6x. This is negative 6x. And then negative 13 and negative 11 put together, right? Same signs, add and keep, negative 24. So the rules that we learned in chapter one for integers still are keep, they keep coming up forever for the rest of the year. All right, now I'm ready to cancel out this multiplication. The inverse of multiplying by negative six is to divide by negative six. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. Cross out what cancels, bring down your x, and a negative divided by a negative is a positive. All right, draw your line down the equal sign, highlight your variable. So there's nothing new here, it's just maybe one more extra step before you get the variable all by itself. In this one I can see I gotta cancel out the three and the five, get rid of adding and subtracting first, so the inverse of plus five would be minus five. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. Cross out what cancels and bring everything down. Don't lose that negative. Equals negative two and negative five make negative seven. Now we talked a little bit in chapter two about a negative in front of a fraction. And we said it didn't matter if the negative was on the top or the bottom or out front in the middle, that's all equal, all equivalent. So if I kind of think of this as negative three, then when I multiply by negative three, it'll cancel out. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. Negative times a negative is positive. Okay, there are three questions on the next page. Yep, one, two, three, and one question here. So that is four questions for you to finish up right now as your practice. Do this one right now, we'll check this one, and then we'll move on to the back together in a minute. So pause and do number three right now. Okay, so I did plus five on both sides, then I brought down my four x and divided by four on both sides, and that gave me x is equal to seven, and you're not done until you actually plug that seven back in. 4 times 7 minus 5 does give you 23, so we know it works. So now there are three left on the next page. Remember to show your work completely. So line down the equal sign, go until you get the variable by itself. Okay? So you have three problems to do here and finish it up. Hit play when you're ready to check them when they are completely done. Okay, this is the first one on the back there. I did plus 13 on both sides. These should cross out, bring everything down. Now negative 5x equals 20, divide by negative five on both sides, and I got x is negative four. And if I plug that back in, yep, it works. Okay, this one, minus 13 on both sides. That brings me to negative 12 here. And again, I chose to kind of see this negative going with the four, because now if I multiply by negative four, this negative four and this negative four cancel out. Same thing on the other side, a negative times a negative is positive. Final one is very similar, minus 18 on both sides, multiply by a negative three so that Multiplying and dividing by a negative three cancel out. And on this side, different signs is a negative six. So that is the end of video six, two-step equations.